Hello guys, today I am going to talk about DPPH essay with you all and it is an essay that is used to calculate the antioxidant activity of the organic compounds. So basically it is a radical and it is purple in color. DPPH free radical method is an antioxidant essay based on electron transfer that produces a violet solution in ethanol. Here in this video we are making drug dilutions. The calculations are made after standardizing. Our mentor told us after standardizing on the drug that he is working on that we have to put in Ependorf's 50 microliter of DMSO and 40 microliter of water and 10 microliter of the compound and then we have to make like 19 tubes 1 to 16 is for the compounds different compounds that he's been like you know uh, he'll do the assay for and the 17th we use is curcumin as it has an effective DPPH scavenging and 18 is the drug that is in market already available to see how much it differs the compounds that the drug that we are discovering how much it dis like differs from the drug that is already in the market so basically here we have started after making the drug dilutions we have started to do the assay this is 96 well played and here we are gonna like put the dilutions in doublets that we made. So first we put 10 microliter of the compound. As DPPH is light sensitive we will make sure to like off the lights and do this in foil. Then we will put 10 microliter of DPPH and 180 microliter of methanol. Then we wait for half hour by covering it with foil. Now after the half hour is completed we check the absorbance and so this is how we check the absorbance so we start this software and then we choose the plate that we have used here we use transparent 96 well plate so meanwhile my friend is finding the plate that we used from the list i should be telling about dmso so dimethyl sulfoxide is an organosulfur compound and its formula is ch3 whole twice so it is a colorless liquid and it is an important polar aprotic solvent that dissolves both polar and non-polar compounds and is miscible in wide range of organic solvents as well as water and it has relatively very high like relatively it has high boiling point so after choosing the plate we choose the wells that we have put our stuff in so that is plate out option that my friend just showed we could like click it or we could click in the like machine and we the uh, thing will come out and you can keep your plate on it so after this we do shaking so choose shaking from the option and then absorbance so basically uh, what happened is we forgot to put our plate first so keep in mind to be like a bit precise and so here it didn't work because our plate was out and we didn't realize it that we haven't kept it so after choosing the wells or even before it just like come and put the plate first but also you can do that after like choosing the plate in the like table the list and then choosing your so the absorbance for DPPH essay is 517 nanometer. So we choose like or write that in the absorbance and then for shaking it's 5 seconds that we have chosen. Then we just click on this start and it will start operating. It will take a few moments and then it will like do all that shaking and absorbance all those the machine will calculate and do the checks and measure and will present the absorbance like this in numerical form and in graphical form to you on the screen and once the machine is done calculating and measuring it will automatically open this excel file here we are now like meant to do the calculations and see in numerical like what the differences are between our compounds and the control and the drug from the market and curcumin as we all know that curcumin is yellow so it has the yellow color so basically what we first do is we paste the values we did it in doublets right so we have two values for each compound or each like you know dilutions that we made so we write them in order 
first we make the list and then and i hope you do know how to make the list we use control plus c to copy and then control plus v to paste and after that we take the average okay so first we do average that is is equal to an a v g and then it automatically comes average and then we choose the cells we have to take the average of and then we just you know this black plus sign will come and then you do till end and then it'll take out the average of all the respective cells like we did in first and then after taking the average what we're supposed to do there is a formula for dpph scavenging effect okay the percentage the or the percentage inhibition that is absorbance of control minus absorbance of sample divided by absorbance of control into 100 so basically what we first do is we uh, like type is equal to and then bracket bracket is very important and then we put this the average of the first control 0 0.0995 okay because that is the absorbance of control right and a formula says it and then we do minus a1 so here we are doing with the average only like average of the control only it will bring zero but then with plus we'll do it'll do the respective calculations for respective cells so after doing that remember to put the brackets before the division also first we do this a naught minus a1 divided by a naught okay and later we'll do that of uh, like finding the percentage so now we do this and it comes out uh, the inhibition of each compound and now we have to find the percentage inhibition so what we'll do is we'll choose the cell after is equal to choose the cell and do into that is star from the keyboard 100 and enter so this is the percentage okay you don't have to do the percentage of control because obviously it its calculation came zero so this is now we can like you know compare so this is the well plate after we have done so see the colors thank you